a great celebration here at Harvest Time at Dollywood. This is Miss Lillian here. I want to introduce to you some very special folks to me. They've come here at Dollywood during the Harvest Celebration for several years now. I want you to meet my buddies, Larry and Cleo Stock. Take it away, Larry and Cleo. What are the tools called that you use? Um, this is called a hook. It resembles a crochet hook, but it has a handle. Uh, my grandfather made this for me when I was five. I've lost it several times, but uh, people that found it knew who it belonged to, luckily. So that was just 20 years ago? No, I'll admit, 22. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my grandma taught me to hook when I was five years old. So how many years did it take until you didn't dream about it? I still do. <laughs> my uh, grandma put me to hooking to teach me how to sit still in a chair. Ah, a forgotten kind of a gift to children nowadays. I, I was fortunate. My grandmother lived right across the street. And uh, there were seven of us children. My mother didn't have time to teach us anything but to make our beds and cook. But Grandma taught me all the wifely skills. She taught me how to crochet and knit. I even know how to turn a shirt and cuffs on a man's shirt. <laughs> so you push that tool down through one of the openings. Mm -hmm. well, what is the backing made of? Um, this is hemp, but I prefer tow. Tow is uh, just a crude form of linen made from flax, and it's real smooth. This one is hairy feeling. So you push that down through and then you grab the loop of the material you're using? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where did you get the material? I cut them up from old wool clothing. Okay, so they're all wool. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can make them out of any kind of material, but the only ones you see in museums are wool. So did you dye it or was that the color of the original wool? I tried to design my rugs with the color wool I have and sometimes I over dye a color to get a different shade that uh, otherwise I just use what I have. Oh you're doing the three little pigs? Uh, yeah three little pigs and they're going to be doing the hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. I thought I'd get it both done at, at one with one rug. Do you draw your own designs? Yeah. Uh, this is this is uh, called primitive hooking. And uh, back in the old days, women had to draw their own designs. Our uh, Sometimes they would uh, use their quilting templates to uh, lay off a design. Or if nothing else, they would just use this technique. It's called hit or miss. And they would just jumble all their colors together. And as they pulled it out of the pile, that's what they would hook. How long would a rug made this way last? Well, I've got one on my bedroom floor that my aunt hooked in 1918, and it's been on the floor all these years, and uh, it's still a good rug. I usually bring it down here and put it under my feet. Cleo, that's amazing. But, and what about your table that you use? Uh, I bought it at auction about 45 years ago. It was a tapestry frame, and uh, 
I've used it so much that Larry had to put new seed and stretcher on it. Well, it's a good thing to have a wood ride in the family. Oh, yes. He just made my uh, great-granddaughter her own hooking frame. And she's seven, and it will grow with her and widen with her. We just taught her to hook last year, and she was six. Oh, what a wonderful thing for her to receive from you all. Well, my oldest granddaughter hooks, and she's found it um, a good thing to know uh, because she uh, she can make wedding presents and uh, birthday gifts and everything. You know, even if it's just uh, trivets or uh, hot pads, you know, something like that. And that's a wonderful thing to do for people, too. Well, Larry and my family make Christmas presents. We don't buy. Both sides are crafty people. Ah, but Cleo, that's the best craft of all. It's from your heart. Thanks, Cleo. Oh, you're welcome. Be sure to catch our video demonstrating the historical art of making wooden spoons by Cleo's wonderful husband, Larry. What a team.